Can you really dry your shells in the oven? That's the question I want to answer today. Hi, I'm Amy from the Macron Academy, where we turn home bakers into master macaron makers. In the last video, we did an in-depth beginner tutorial on how to make macarons. Out of that video, I had some extra batter that I wanted to do the oven drying test with. So if you want to see a more in-depth tutorial, make sure to watch that video that I've linked in the cards. But for today, we're going to take that extra batter and put it straight into the oven after we pipe. So let's pick up the video where I'm piping that extra batter. So I'm not resting this tray. I'm going to put it directly into the oven. Now it's preheated to 350. When I put these in the oven, I'm gonna turn the temperature back down to 300 and bake for my normal time, three, uh, 15 minutes. So let's see what happens. I have a thermometer in here, so I'm gonna make sure that it's registering 350 degrees. So my oven thermometer said it was actually like 353. Um, some of the heat, of course, came out when I opened up the door. I have no idea if this is going to turn out. Um, I just, I read an article that, of course, piqued my interest in anything to do with macarons in an experiment. I just, I want to try it. And I knew I was going to have extra batter, so why not? Our test batch is out of the oven. Right away, we can see we've got a few shells that cracked. The one's cracked on the side right there. I'm not sure you can see it on the video. I feel like they've got a firm top. One of these that's cracked open. Let's go ahead and cut it and just see what, it, ooh, that's hot. See what it looks like on the inside. I don't even know if these are gonna be baked all the way to be perfectly honest. Okay, the bottom's cooked. Mm, the inside still feels underbaked. That's what it looks like. So I think these shells might have been on their way to being full. I wonder what would happen if we let those go for 16 minutes. I'm going to cut this one open right here. It's just cracked on the side. That's the inside of that one. Now, I lost the bottom because uh, these just came out of the oven. So here, where it stayed together, we actually do have a full shell. So I'm gonna be curious to see, we'll let these cool. These shells that aren't cracked, it'll be interesting to see what they look like after they've cooled for about 15 minutes. Our batch has now cooled. Again, we can see we put these straight in the oven. The oven was preheated to 350. When these, um, when we put these in the oven, we brought the temperature back down to 300 and they baked for 15 minutes. We had some shells that cracked, but the majority, you know, look like normal macarons. So I'm gonna cut one of these open again that cracked. They seem a little crunchy. Okay, this is one that had, let me turn it this way so you can see. It cracked. Definitely some big air bubbles got in there. 
I've probably had some air bubbles that I didn't give time to get up to the surface and it was trapped. So that's kind of that whole volcano thing I was talking about in the very beginning. And see, here's, here's this one. Here's the other half. It could be hollow too. So let's check one of these. That looks smooth on top. Let's see what it looks like. Okay, it's almost full. We have just a tiny gap right in there. But overall, <laughs> not bad. Like the top is, the top is strong. Now I do on the other half of this, there was an air bubble in there as you can see. Okay, this is the same Macron. It's full on one side and it appears to be hollow here, but to me, that is an air bubble. Otherwise, this half right here wouldn't be full. That's just some air that got trapped. The inside is still, oops, the top is crunchy, but the inside still has a little bit of chew. Once these get filling in them, they will be amazing and they mature overnight they'll taste wonderful to recap the experiment i preheated the oven to 350 degrees i piped the shells and as soon as they finished piping and we popped the air bubbles they went straight into the oven once in the oven i turned the temperature down to 300 degrees and baked for 15 minutes we had a few shells that definitely exploded but overall the vast majority were nice normal looking and full shells. Would I recommend this experiment? Absolutely, especially if you live in a humid environment. Now your temperatures, your preheat time, that's all something you're gonna have to experiment with because every kitchen is different and every oven is different. If you want a starting place to start this experiment, I would use the preheating the oven to 350 degrees and then turning the temperature down to 300 and bake for 15 minutes. If your shells are underbaked, then I would increase your baking time. Still keep your preheat temperature to 350 degrees, just bake your shells longer, depending on how underbaked they were. If your shells were overbaked, I would recommend then either lowering your preheat temperature maybe to 340, 335 if your oven will do that and keep the same baking time at 300 degrees for 15 minutes or another thing you could do is keep your oven preheated to 350 degrees and just lower your baking time so instead of baking for 15 minutes maybe you only bake for 12. again that's all going to be dependent on your oven so i highly recommend if you have extra batter try this experiment and just see what happens and if you live in a human environment, then this could help eliminate the resting time altogether. So I'd love to know, are you going to try this experiment? Let me know in the comments below. And thank you for watching today's video. If you like it, make sure to give it a thumbs up. While you're here, make sure to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to watch this other Macron video. Have a wonderful and blessed day.